Okay, we have six children and we have six shirts to distribute among those children. Now there are several ways to distribute these shirts. Here's one possible distribution. Here's another and another and another. So we want to come up with some systematic way to distribute these shirts so that we can count them. Here's one approach. Let's choose any three children. Now those three chosen children will receive red shirts. The remaining green shirts then will go to the children who have not yet received shirts. Let's try that again. We'll choose any three children. Those three children will receive red shirts and the remaining green shirts will go to children who do not yet have shirts. As you can see, each new selection of three children will correspond to a new distribution of the six shirts. So our question then becomes, in how many ways can we choose three children from these six children? Well, notice that the order in which we select these children does not matter. In other words, selecting child 1, 2, and 3 is the same as selecting child 3, 2, and then 1. So since the order doesn't matter here, we're looking at a combination question. So we have six children all together, and we want to choose three of them. We can accomplish this in six choose three ways. We can now use the following formula to evaluate six choose three. It equals 20, so our answer here then is A.